Hi, my name is Misha Goldman. I'm the technical director for the Knoxville Jazz Orchestra. Uh, I'm also the front of house engineer for the band. I've been with the band for the last 20 years. And tonight we just uh, got done our second night here at the Tennessee Theater in Knoxville, Tennessee. And it's our Christmas show. We have it every year. We had the chance tonight to try out the re-mic and we tried it out for two instruments. Our bassist was able to try it out and our, of course, guest violinist Regina Carter. The nature of, of being an audio engineer is you always want to get the best sound and you always want to kind of tinker and tweak things. So I, we've always used two sources on the double bass. We've had a DI and we've had a microphone and we've had great results and we've been very, very happy with that. Um, but John Hamer suggested, hey, why don't you try this mic out, uh, the re-mic, and we tried it for bass our last show, and it was phenomenal. I mean, uh, I don't have the, the profile from our last show at the Bijou, but pretty much my EQ was almost flat. I took out a little 250 hertz for proximity effect, but most of all, um, it was very transparent. I had less DI in the mix, uh, had hardly any bleed from the drums, so it was pretty much a clear representation, acoustic image of our double bassist, uh, Mr. Sauter. So one of the challenging things, of course, uh, in miking a double bass, or in this case for the concert tonight, a violin, is making sure uh, we're true to the instrument, and the instrument cuts through with a really nice image uh, cuts through the dynamic range of the band. It doesn't get swallowed up and the, all the horns, winds and brass are, are blasting away, um, but also uh, preserves the, the natural characteristics, the openness of the sound, and not to be too direct. So I feel the re-mic really has a great balance of both. It gives a really focused signal, but also gives a nice open, warm sound of the bass. Um, and the great advantage of this, um, and I'm a very, very uh, particular, especially when it comes to the, the bass, double bass, is I myself am a professional double bassist, so I've spent, of course, so many years trying to perfect my sound and playing long tones and playing in orchestra works and solo works and jazz. Uh, so I spent all this time trying to craft my, my playing technique to have the best quality sound, so why not I have a microphone that can pretty much replicate that in a live setting. So I really believe the re-mic has been wonderful to do that and I'm really happy that we've now integrated it and incorporated it into our uh, microphone inventory from the Knoxville Jazz Orchestra.